dogs are very much a, a part of the family's history. The whole house of Althorpe has pictures of dogs wherever you look. The beautiful painting of Georgina, the first Countess Spencer, and her, her daughter, they have a dog with them. You'll see them sitting with the Red Earl, rifle shooting with his wife. They actually had no children, and so dogs became a very big part of their lives. There's a portrait of the third Earl, who was a very down-to-earth, sort of rural fellow, in the fields, admiring one of his prize bulls. But there's also his dog, Bruce, not just a dog in a portrait, but a, a named part of it. I love that you commission a great painter to commemorate your pet. It's a really lovely gesture of respect and love, not just as a pet, but as a spirit that you really value. The entrance hall at the Wooten Hall is a celebration of the hunt. Foxhounds became an important part of the, the family. To the casual layman, they just looked like a, a bundle of dogs, but they were known individually. They all are distinctively named. That shows a connection with the dog that goes beyond just seeing them as useful tools for hunting down foxes. Forager was the family's favourite foxhound and in 1894 won the National Hound of the Year competition. Beautiful bronze was commissioned of him which stands by the fireplace in the billiard room. I love the fact that this dog that's been dead for perhaps 125 years uh, is commemorated for all time. He wasn't just a, a pet that lived for 10 years and passed on, uh, he's here for eternity. great room where we hang many of the best pictures in the house. Family members and people connected to Althorpe. A wonderful portrait of a dog by Stubbs who was one of the great animal portrait painters of the 18th century in England. He painted Mouton, uh, a wonderful portrait of a dog. Mouton is a Kieshond, a Dutch barge dog. Uh, it's a breed of dog that's still popular with my family. We grew up with Kieshonds and my eldest sister, Sarah, still has, has them now. In the 1700s, the story goes that he was accompanying the first Earl Spencer down a street in central London when some pedestrian kicked Mouton. And my ancestor drew his sword and held this man at, at sword point until he apologized to Mouton for being so rude. And the fact that Mouton was painted by the premier animal portrait painter of his day, says, says quite a lot about how my family regarded him. My grandfather always had them, my father had them until he reached old age, and I've always had them here. There's a wonderful photograph of my great-great-grandfather, uh, Frederick Forthell Spencer, standing, looking incredibly daunting in 1830s, and then beside him, rather Softening the image is Chatty, his little dog by his feet. Perhaps the most heroic dog that's uh, portrayed in the house is Amber, a water spaniel, who is in this incredible portrait by Gainsborough, one of the great 18th century portrait painters. Amber is allowed into this portrait with her master, uh, Mr. Points, because she saved his life. He was staying in a hotel somewhere and Amber sniffed something that was wrong under the bed and started growling and, and alerted her master to the fact that there was a man under the bed with a knife, which, according to the investigations of the time, he was going to stab Mr. Points and steal his stuff and run away with it. Look at this rather fluffy, unaggressive looking spaniel, uh, but it saved its master's life and that's pretty impressive. It's good to have them hanging on the walls, still a part of this house and its family. Otis is uh, the third in a line of Labradors that have lived here during my time. I had his grandmother, his father and him. Otis has a particular magic about him. He's very human. People find it very comforting when they come to this house that there is an absolutely lovely Labrador lolling around. 
emanating good spirit, good sentiment and kindness. When you come to a house like this, because it is in many ways like a museum, some of the interior, and just seeing a, a dog in it just makes people smile and relax and realize that uh, it's a home as well. Get all the latest news from Althorpe delivered to your inbox for free. Sign up at spencer1508.com. Don't miss the next video. Be sure to subscribe to the Spencer 1508 YouTube channel.